Well, welcome to the Elft Medication Safety Podcast. This is part two podcast dealing with issues around vitamin D, also known as cholecalciferol. So, um, can you just sort of recap on the things that we covered in the, the last Yep, absolutely. Podcast, yep. So, in the last podcast, I pointed out that cholecalciferol is more commonly involved in medication errors than we would expect it to be. And I talked about one particular type of error involving the drug and that was a look-alike, sound-alike error where cholecalciferol was confused with another drug with a similar sounding name. Okay, what's another type of medication error that we've been seeing with cholecalciferol? So quite often we see mistakes involving the dosing of cholecalciferol and the, the way that cholecalciferol is prescribed with the dose and the frequency can vary depending on the local prescribing guidelines and it can vary depending on the patient's vitamin D level. So there is a bit of variation in the doses that are used and sometimes that can lead to a bit of confusion. So it's very common for a loading dose of vitamin D to be used, so a kind of high initial dose which is used to get the patient's vitamin D levels up quite quickly, just given for a short period of time, then followed up with a maintenance dose which is much lower and to continue over a longer period of time. And so with this loading dose, this uh, large uh, once-off dose, it can be something in the region of 100,000 units of vitamin D, which that would be a kind of typical dose that we would use. And so one of the mistakes we sometimes see is that people get mixed up between the 100,000 unit dose and the 1,000 unit tablets. And so they end up, the patient's prescribed 100,000 units, but they end up being given 1,000 units. So they get a big underdose. Okay, all Um, right. One of the other things that we see with that loading dose is that it's often prescribed as 100,000 units to be given just for two days. Um, And sometimes we see a mistake that is made is that that is continued beyond two days. Right. So a patient could end up receiving the large dose for weeks, which obviously means they're getting far too much vitamin D. Sure. And occasionally we also see the loading dose being completely omitted altogether. Okay. So, and quite often that happens when it's prescribed in the front of the chart, the once only part right. of the chart. Yes. It's overlooked by staff and the patient ends up not getting their dose. Okay, so then they get a serious under treatment. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you also mentioned problems with the maintenance dose that people make. Yeah, so again, there are a couple of variations in how the maintenance, maintenance dose is generally prescribed. Um, two of the most common ways of dosing it are either to give uh, a dose once a day every day, so normally about a thousand units, or to give a five thousand unit or ten thousand unit dose once a week. Yes. And so the mistake we see here is that patients prescribe the once a week dose, but they end up being given it every day, so they're they're getting too much. Okay. D so it's quite a complex drug. It's got a, uh, a loading dose and a maintenance dose, and um, the dosages are sort of quite different. Yep. Exactly. Um, and it's easy to get either bit of it wrong, so it's the sort of thing that you really have to be paying um, exactly. a, a, attention to. Yeah. Any other messages for um, staff? I Two guess tickets? this isn't a massively high risk drug in terms of the side effects that are going to happen in the short term. Yeah. So. Uh, generally, if someone gets a once-off overdose of cholecalciferol, there's nothing majorly wrong going to happen. Um, but if they do continue to have large excess doses over time, that can cause damage to the patient's bones and to their heart and to their kidneys. So it's definitely important to get it right. Um, and hopefully by focusing on these things that we've talked about, that can yeah. help staff to, to do the right thing. Okay, all right. So I guess the overall message is when it's a drug that you don't know very well, um, it it has a complex um, regime, you really need to understand what that regime is and make sure that you check it carefully with another member of staff to make sure that you've got it correct. Absolutely. Pharmacists are always around. Indeed. You need to speak to them. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for listening. Thank Thank you.